Well, the widening project for Highway 31 in Spanish Fort now has the green light. So expect construction to four lane the highway to begin soon from State Highway 225 all the way east to where 31 intersects with State Highway 181. NBC 15's James Gordon has been following the progress that will affect thousands of commuters. The State Highway 31 project has been off and then on and then back again. Now $19 million will get the job done as LDOT has officially awarded the bid contract. So I'm going to lose my trees here, my sign is going to have to be moved back. My parking lot obviously will be a lot closer to the road. Um, but, but overall, I think you know, from a visibility standpoint, it's going to be great for me and for all the businesses here in Spanish Fort. In 2007, LDOT paid property owners for the right of ways along Highway 31. Business owners like insurance agent Lad Drago say the pain is worth the gain. We really needed four lanes here. Traffic's so bad in the summertime. Uh, that'll alleviate a lot of that, I think. And it's just, it's really needed for Spanish Fort, I think, to continue to grow. Next door, massage therapist Katie Fuquay works at Salon Chameleon. She says the widening of 31 will be good for business. I think it will definitely bring in foot traffic and more um, people noticing the businesses off of 31 for mm -hmm. sure. Back to the money and to the progress, county commissioners say the Highway 31 project is a long time coming. What we were able to do and something I'm particularly proud of was cobble together portions of BP money, um, uh, ALDOT money, and Restore Council money, hopefully, to really come up with a, a multifaceted plan to solve problems on 31 here in Spanish Fort, on 181 in Daphne and uh, in Fairhope, and then down at the beach, of course, on Canal Road and in Gulf Shores and Orange Beach. In Spanish Fort, James Gordon, NBC 15 News.